Just a few days back, we finally took Showstopper, the albino whitetail buck here on Nez Perce Valley, I believe actually out of that herd right there in front of us. And of course, to age a whitetail from one star adult all the way up to three star mature takes some significant time. And in doing that, there were a number of other trophies that we got along the way. And I believe I mentioned in that video I would stick during that, so none of these trophies have their own live commentary. I'll talk over them, talk about like what was going on at the time, where in the story of aging showstopper they actually occurred, and all that good stuff. But there were some pretty crazy kills, and it was kind of cool. In the process of trying to get an albino to his maximum age, we got a bunch of other stuff for the trophy lodge. One of the things that occurs when trying to age a particular animal is you get used to certain herds and going and checking those, but eventually you start to run out of stuff to go and look at and you start to explore some other areas. And that's what happened in finding this five star bighorn ram. I just decided to try somewhere else and go figure a five star was standing there across the lake in a perfect spot to go for a long shot with the 30 odd six. I was thinking as well, I feel like that didn't used to happen nearly as often. Like we don't track things in way the hunter anymore. At least for the most part, maybe here and there, a quartering shot we have to track them down, but almost everything drops, and I don't know if that's due to a change or due to the overwhelming power of the 30 out 6. And genuinely, those were my thoughts as we ran around the lake to go and claim our bighorn, but obviously at that angle just a single lung does fine, 266 yards away with the 30 out 6, he was a 96.31%, so a pretty good one but a total score of only 467, so probably he could have gone another day, but like I said, you can only check your regular places so many times. We started the branch out, and I had no idea where in the life cycle that bighorn may have been, so had to take him out, and happy to add another 5 star to the trophy lodge. By now I had checked all of the private land areas and everything where I knew there were good genetics, and started to just check other spots that maybe weren't as good, and go figure, there's another melanistic mule deer doe. Now, this was like the day after we found the melanistic buck, so it was pretty wild to run into another rare like that, just hours after finding the previous one. But much like in the case of the bighorn ram, just a simple shot with the 30 odd six is all it takes to bring her down and drop her in her track. So another opportunity for a decent screenshot and yet another rare. We went with no rares for quite some time, and all of a sudden, Nez Perce is just handing them out. And as per usual, difficult to get a perfect photo, but decent enough in that case, and we were able to double lung at just 139 yards, now our second melanistic mule deer doe ever, both in spots that were, you know, secondary habitat, not high genetics, which, again, melanism is tied to herds with high fitness, that only means above 50%. But still crazy, those are the areas that we found our first two. And that brings us to one we've been waiting for. Down in Green Arches, which is of course public land on Nez Perce Valley, we have a five-star whitetail buck. We knew this guy was going to get there. He was a three-star adult. He was an early three-star adult, in fact. He was a three-star adult with another year yet to go. But it was a bit of a tough angle. I wanted to make sure that we could get him down. It is always far more satisfying to drop them in their tracks. But finally, he goes broadside and gives us our shot. And of course, that's exactly what we expect from the 30 odd 6. Now, I thought this being a public land bug would be maybe similar to our mule deer. Our mule deer was like 465, just barely into the 5 star requirement. After taking a pretty subpar photo, I was not prepared for what we find in the harvest screen. So, again, double lung shot from the 30 odd 6 at 150 yards. This is nothing new for us, but the genetic potential of 97.95% really caught me off guard. I didn't realize just how big this rack was. A 491.9 score. Our biggest five-star whitetail ever, and it came from public land. And I, I sat there shocked because I didn't have a live reaction to it. I was so stoked and yet so bummed that I didn't have my live reaction because I really did think he'd go 460, maybe 470. It was really stunning to see 491. Now, unfortunately, this one cuts off the beginning of the encounter, but we attract a herd with a mature albino whitetail doe in it to basically the edge of this cliff, just 50 yards away. So a very easy shot, nothing to really be all that proud of there. It was quite routine, but 
she actually spooked with the rest of that herd. And I saw it running up the side of the mountain. It was actually quite cool to see. I wish I had been recording, but at the time, again, we're just going around basically trying to pass time for Showstopper at age. There was nothing in particular we were after, nothing else we were waiting on. And we end up with another albino whitetail. And of course, taking this before we actually got Showstopper. So at some stage, maybe we'll do a multi-mount with her and Showstopper, but I just don't know. Screenshots I've seen in the trophy lodge, particularly of albino does, they look a lot more brown in the lodge than they do on the hoof. And it just, to me, it doesn't look as good as the melanistics. So to put a bow on our albino whitetail doe, we actually did shoot her through the heart there, so I guess at least that was good at 39 yards. But this is a situation where I'd really love if they added the actual age in years to the harvest screen. I'd love to know, like, she's a mature, but just how old is she? Did we get her on, like, the last year? You know, would we have had some time to find her still? It just would have been really interesting to know, because to run into her for the first time as a mature? Who knows? If we had gone there the next day, maybe she wouldn't have even been there at all. And speaking of things not being there at all, how about a 5-star moose that we had no idea existed? Now, if you've watched the Clips channel, I just had a clip uploaded where we ran through this area, this exact area, on a UTV and ended up killing a goose with it. I don't know where this moose was then, but I'm glad we didn't run into that by accident. Able to even drop him with the Cyrus M12, so of the 5 trophies we got in the process of aging Showstopper, none of them ever required a track, but we had the two 4 star moves that I thought maybe one or both would have a chance to get into 5 stars, both died of old age, and out of nowhere comes this guy, and I truly don't have a clue where he even came from. As far as photos go, this may have been our best one, but this actually is our best moose as well. We were able to get a double lung and artery shot, which no doubt contributed to him dropping, but moose aren't that tough to drop anyway. But he was a 98.19% genetic potential male with a 493 score. We got some absolute giants. As you can see, again, no live commentary, so I'm just throwing the mouse around, just in shock that we took a 5-star moose that was that big. And again, like the albino doe, a complete random encounter. First time we had ever seen that animal, and... It ends up being our biggest moose, and I think maybe our biggest 5-star on Nez Perce. So, in total, 5 new trophies for the Trophy Lodge. I think only 3 of them are actually going to be in the Lodge. I don't know what to do with the Albino Whitetail Doe just yet. I think maybe at some stage we'll do the multi-mount with Showstopper and the Albino Doe, but I just don't think the Albinos look as good in the Trophy Lodge. And because we have our Melanistic Mule Deer in the waiting, I know that can go together with the Melanistic Doe, and since we've got one there, the one we shot today won't actually be in the Trophy Lodge, but I do want to go back, take a look at the Monster 5-Star Moose, the Monster 5-Star Whitetail, and yet another 5-Star Bighorn from that big lake in the Northwest. But in the meantime, just getting a little bonus public land herd managing done, just taking a 1-Star Adult from a Showstopper's herd. Maybe we'll see another albino someday, but 45%, it is amazing too that he was like 78%, 76%, something like that. Everything else in that herd is terrible, but let's go and take a look. So I will say we've got a lodge tour coming up in which we'll take a look at all these yet again, but I wanna go through the new stuff. We've got our five-star Bighorn. I really like the pedestal mounts for them. We may actually move some stuff around at some stage and do some more of those. That ended up looking pretty cool. I put the five-star moose up here next to Showstopper. It was only fitting to have him there because we got him in the process of trying to actually age him up to a 3-star mature, and I mean, 493, like I said, that is just absurd. And then back here, we've got our 5-star whitetail. We can pretend this is the melanistic doe we got, this is actually another one, but obviously it would look the exact same. But this dude, I mean, the frame is just gigantic, and because we shot him at a distance, and because I just didn't expect him to be that big, I had no clue that he was going to be in that kind of area 491 so two 490 plus five stars while trying to age showstopper to his maximum mage a couple of rares and a small five star in the bighorn sheep but really really cool to have gotten all those things and i'm very much looking forward to the lodge door where we go through here and take a look at all these old kills we're going to include some clips i probably won't include clips from this video because it's just happening like a couple days before the actual tour but i think it's gonna be fun and i'm looking forward to that but anyway that's going to do it for this video, so as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.